a business dynasty which has historic roots in Fife has emerged as the backer of plans to exploit two of Scotland's greatest loves, whisky and golf. The Weems family are to build an artisan distillery near St Andrews, which they hope will attract 20,000 visitors a year and create a new single malt. Here's Craig Miller. This 18th century farm steading on the Cambo estate in Fife's East Nuke is the stuff of dreams being turned into reality. Two years ago, inspired by touring golfers who couldn't find a nearby whisky distillery to visit, one-time caddy Doug Clement began to look for investors to raise £2 million. That drive to convert the building into a distillery was stymied by the harsh economic conditions. But enter the Weems family, who are to invest £3 million in making it happen. I think they're absolutely the perfect fit because a lot of the um, investment in the Scotch whisky industry are uh, coming from abroad these days. But not only are the Weems family from Scotland, but actually they're from Fife um, because their ancestral home is at um, Weems Castle, just along the coast here. The Weems family have been an independent whisky bottler since 2005, but also have business interests ranging from Kenyan tea plantations to Australian sheep farming. This is the world-class Kings Barnes golf course, just a mile or so from the distillery and not very far away from St Andrews either. The idea is to capitalise on two of Scotland's greatest assets, golf and whisky. This had a very unique attraction to us in that the area around St Andrews, bizarrely enough, did not have a distillery and we thought that that represented a really good opportunity because golf tourists uh, and locals who want to visit a distillery either have to go all the way to Perth to visit Tully Barden or come all the way back to Edinburgh. So we thought it was, with all the foreigners coming into the area, we thought it was a, a good natural fit for, for St Andrew's catchment area. The Weems family will produce a new and rare lowland single malt here when conversion work is completed, with its hoped up to 20,000 visitors a year coming for a dram. Craig Miller, STV News, Kings Barnes.